Okay, in this video we're going to look at the foot. And as you're viewing it here, you're seeing it from the medial aspect, you can see the arch of the foot. I'll turn this toward you so you're seeing an anterior view. The phalanges, the metatarsals, the tarsals. Now per your lab manual, I'm going to turn this away from you. So it'll appear in the same view that you would observe in your lab manual. And starting with all the tarsal bones, we'll start with this, the talus. This is the bone that articulates with the tibia. The tibia, the weight-bearing bone of the lower leg, would come right down on the talus. The talus articulates with the calcaneus. This is your heel bone. This is the cuboidal. Medial to that, you have the navicular bone. And then you have three cuneiforms that are described as the medial, the intermediate, and the lateral cuneiforms. A little mnemonic device to remember these is Tom can control not much in life. So talus, calcaneus, cuboidal, navicular, medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiforms. Those bones I've just described collectively make up the tarsals. Anterior to that, you have the metatarsals. Just as we saw in the hand, the long bones of the hand that made up the palm, these make up the body of the foot. And just as the thumb was number one on the hand, the big toe and its corresponding metatarsal is number one, two, three, four, five. In front of those, you have the phalanges. Just as you saw in the thumb, the big toe has only a proximal and a distal. The other four digits have a proximal, middle, and distal phalanx that make up the phalanges. The same type of structure and orientation we saw with the hand.